If your life were a book and you were the author, how would you want your story to go? And this is your life. If you want to know something about yourself, sit on your bed one night and say to yourself, you got to mean this, like you got to be desperate. This is no game, this. It's like, my life is not everything I want it to be, and perhaps it's not everything that I need it to be. And by need, I mean my life is so unbearable that the suffering that's attendant upon that is make me nihilistic, cynical, bitter, resentful, homicidal, genocidal, in the, unable to have a good relationship, pro, prone to punish people for their virtues because of my jealousy, uh, driving the proclivity to see evil everywhere except within my own heart. Like, these are problems, man. And you ask yourself, you sit on the bed and say, okay, man, I'm ready to learn something. Like, what? what's one thing I'm doing wrong that I know I'm doing wrong that I could fix, that I would fix. It's nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent. And a lot of times you have to learn to perform without motivation. You have to learn to perform without purpose. You have to learn to perform a lot of different things. And that's what people think. They think I need to have this motivation to work out, to study, to be better. So if they don't have it, they just don't fucking do it. And that's where you fail. And our obstacles can only do two things. One, stop us in our tracks. Or two, force us to get creative. Sooner or later, you've got to bet on you. You believe in everybody else, you clap for everybody else, you support everybody else, you're baking cakes and making cookies for everybody else. But when are you going to look in the mirror and believe in the darn person you see? It's about time for you to believe in you because you got it. You got it. You just got to bring that thing that's on the inside out. So when I went to the combine, I already knew what I had. It was just time for me to show the world. And that's what I did. I've learned that Borders are where the actual ends, but also where the imagination and the story begins.